Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are getting it all done. We are doing a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul and restock. We are doing some gardening, some baking, and some other organizing. So I hope you guys enjoy. So here we got all of my Dollar Tree stuff. We're gonna be putting most of this stuff away. I got some extra shampoo and soaps and balloons. These balloons are preparing for Jack and mine and my dad's and my sister-in-law's birthday party. And then these balloons are gonna be for a church event that I'm volunteering for. I got these plastic bowl covers. They're kind of like those like things you put in your hair when you're showering if you don't want your hair to get wet, but they cover your bowls a lot easier than saran wrap. So I love picking those up and I do reuse them. So I feel like I'm getting my money's worth from the Dollar Tree. And I also got some child locks and some like a little strand of Christmas lights, which we're gonna try to fix the problem that I mentioned in my previous video with my Christmas tree kind of like missing some of its lights. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away and we will fix my tree. So from the Dollar Tree, I also picked up some of these condiment bottles and we had this ginormous thing of buffalo wing sauce in our fridge just taking up space and the tiniest amount at the bottom of it just like sitting there. So I decided to pour it into one of our bottles and then in the other bottle later on to actually today when I'm recording this voiceover, I poured in some shout for our laundry because that was really like the only container that I had to dispense it. So anyways, that's how I'm using the other one. But we have moved outside and we are doing some gardening and some can crushing. And I wanna show you guys like our pumpkins. We have this huge pumpkin, which I am harvesting today. And then I have two other like pumpkins that I don't know if they're gonna die like all of the other ones that we've had in this season, but we're gonna give them a chance. So what I'm actually doing is I'm removing the pumpkin plants that had no pumpkins on them. And you'll see me tear out the roots later on. Like they actually went like, I wanna say eight feet down to the right. But I am also, in addition to removing like the pumpkin plants that don't have any pumpkins on them, I'm removing a lot of the leaves on the plants that still have like little pumpkins. And I'm hoping that that just kind of like directs all of the energy of the plant to the little pumpkins that are growing. So we will see if those grow, even though it's super late in the season. But we are washing off the main pumpkin that I harvested and we are going back inside to do some tidying and some cleaning in our closet. So I'd like to thank XM for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this adjustable double hanging closet rod. This product is great if you want to best utilize all of the vertical space in your closet or if you have little kids who also want to hang up their clothes. 
To assemble this closet rod, you just need to unfold the hanging hooks and slide the bar with the buttons into the bar with the holes, and then place the slits of these rods over the bars at the end of the hanging hooks. When fully extended, the closet rod fit perfectly into our hall closet, but as you will see, I ended up shortening the width of the rod so that I can hang some longer jackets in our coat closet just to the side of this hanging closet rod. I plan on using the second hanging rod that came in the pack in Aubrey's room when I give her a slight closet upgrade. If this seems like a product that you see yourself or a loved one using, I will place the link to the product in the description box below for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Exxon for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me utilize all of our coat closet space. Now let's finish up getting it all done in the kitchen. So for dinner on this night, I just made it easy on myself. I broiled or um, baked some asparagus, did some roasting there. They were very delicious and made these little like pizza things. I don't know what the brand is, but made it easy. I decided just to put like a bunch on one plate and that typically encourages Aubrey to eat more food because she wants to just steal what I have rather than be upset with whatever's on her plate. So that's what we did there. And then we are moving on to making some cranberry cake. Now I have filmed just a straight recipe video in the past sharing this recipe. It's a short and sweet video and I'm pretty sure it went live probably around the time I gave birth to Jack or the year before. It was sometime like Christmas time because that is when we normally make this. It's a very delicious cake and it requires like the one ingredient aside from the cranberries that I would say is a little bit odd is the almond extract. That is something that I really don't use in any other meal or dessert and it is something that I saw in the store. I saw the cranberries and I was like, you know what? I know these are the two ingredients that make this recipe you know taste so good so i picked them up with the intention of making this for you guys so if you want the recipe make sure to check out my recipe video i will link it up above and in that video i'm actually making like i think a triple batch because we make so much at christmas time because our family's big and also just because it is delicious you would take my breath and i can't get it back might be time for me to face the facts the best me Damage the fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up. Sometimes I lose my mind, and some days it's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side. So now that the cake is done, I'm actually like trying to use up the rest of my butter and some of my ingredients. So I'm just whipping up a quick batch of the chocolate chip cookies, which I've also shared in a quick recipe video for you guys. This is like, I love this recipe. I've probably made it way too much. It freezes well, defrosts pretty quickly, and one is always like just perfect. So I made those cookies and then I moved on to working on a little craft or decoration for this church activity that I mentioned previously. So it was going to be like a paint and sip event where they bring in an artist, 
they teach kind of like how to paint a certain painting and you get to drink wine or you know some other drinks or whatever so i was like you know what i can volunteer i'll make um, a balloon arch and then like another little painting palette decoration. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using some foam board that I already had and some colored paper that I also already had. And I'm just kind of trying my best to freehand or sketch out a palette, cutting it out with a knife, a kitchen knife, because I didn't know where my exacto knives were. And then I cut out circles in the colored paper just to kind of resemble paint and outline them just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. And then as you guys will see using some of the scraps, I actually form like a little paintbrush out of the foam board as well. So I'm working on that. And then you don't see me in this clip, but I'm also going back and forth, like taking care of the cookies, putting the next little tray in and rotating and all of that stuff. So a lot of multi tasking going on here. So just to give you guys a little glimpse, this is what the balloon arch and the final decoration and the painting was for the paint and sip. I'm really happy with it. And actually everyone really like commented on it. They really liked the balloon arch. They asked me if I had a company, so maybe I can do, you know, branch off into that. But for now, I think I'm, I'm good. I got my hands full. Anyways, here are the cookies that I made. Again, they are delicious. Make sure to check out that recipe video. It is finally time to cut up the cake after it cooled off. And we are gonna be boxing this up and enjoying it like throughout the week when I have people over or if I'm just in the mood for some cranberry cake. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope it serves as some motivation for you guys to have a productive day. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content, including those recipe videos that I mentioned. And I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.